Hi, I'm Nick Belayev with Spin Master, and we're here today with Family Gamer TV for a first look at Airhogs Connect Mission Drone. Airhogs Connect Mission Drone is an innovative mix of augmented reality and remote control play. We have uh, our lovely pilot today, Steve Robert, <laughs> is executive producer on the project, and he's piloting our mission drone. As you can see right now, he's uh, transformed our meeting room into a sci-fi universe where he is the pilot of the mission drone and at his disposal he's got a commando that he can launch from the ship Time to rock and roll yes boss Tommy uh, the commando on it the commando is your operative on the ground. He rescues civilians, fights aliens, uh, and is all around uh, an awesome guy. Uh, Steve uh, is using the grappling hook, and he's now uh, picking aliens up for future research, as well as rescuing civilians. And eventually, uh, we'll use the grapple hook to bring the commando back into the ship. Uh, uh, as the pilot, he's got a bunch of obstacles he needs to navigate through the play field. If you want to fly through the ring, please, Steve. Um, these are sort of skill points that you can do as, as you go through the levels, and it helps you uh, unlock uh, special rewards, uh, as well as prove that you are one of the best pilots in the land. Sure. Yeah. So now uh, the command is going down and rescuing some civilians, and then Steve will use the engineering function and the grappling hook to rescue them. <laughs> I love this job. Fill her up. As you go through the game, uh, there's over uh, 30 scripted levels for the onboarding experience, as well as ooh. Uh, <laughs> you might have seen there, Steve just knocked into the building. Um, with these virtual buildings, uh, the ship is the strongest thing in the universe, so you can actually knock them over. Uh, but Steve's a good pilot, so he only bumped into them, and they're still structurally sound. How awesome am I? Pretty awesome. So Steve is working at finishing all the objectives. Uh, you can see in the top right corner of the screen, it's got sort of a, a layout of all the objectives you have to do. As you finish each one, they get check marks. Look at that. Good job, Steve. You just got a check mark. Yeah. Uh, Another interesting innovation with Mission Drone is that your mobile device, whether it's a smartphone or a tablet, is what actually flies the Mission Drone, and you tell it what to do. So this makes for a super easy flying experience where people that aren't necessarily good at flying drones will have an easy time flying it, but people that are experts at flying drones, look at this, Steve is flying with no hands right now, and it automatically landed with one of his special power-ups. Steve has just completed that level, um, and he's off to his next challenge in Mission Drone. There's not a multiplayer mode, but there is an online leaderboard, so right. you're going to show some of that. Sure. So here you are. I'm, uh, I'm ranked 15, so I'm, I'm fully ranked up, which is the same thing as a level, so it's big foot is level 15. Um, and then here you get to see me on, on uh, the global leaderboards based on rank. So, so you're doing pretty well at the minute, 45 globally. It's not super great, but <laughs> I should keep you doing better, but I'm going against a, a lot of people here. And then you also have leaderboard with, with your friends. So you're able to add friends and go against them. I have no friends at the moment, but that's less exciting. So if you had someone else in the family, maybe the wider family who was playing it as well, then you'd see how you were doing and be a, a, yes. a needle match. So it's based on your friends and, get, and uh, based against your, your rank. We also have these uh, rank challenges. So um, every week uh, we'll update uh, a weekly challenge. This weekly challenge is Extinguish 15 Fires. And if you do that, you earn 25 um, AR credits, which is alien resources to help you go in and craft more alien technology. Nice. And then these things down the bottom, you've got a little potion bottle there. Oh, those are shortcuts to the, to the facilities. So this is the body shop. Uh, this is Danger Dome, where you fly in and do a virtual flight of each of the main mechanics of the game. So that's what introduces you to how to play. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So pilot, engineer, commando, and firefighter. Um, Yes. Oh, and then you know, more importantly, when you fly in Danger Dome, we offer uh, power-ups. So you earn uh, power-ups for that represent each of the mechanics. And then when you take those power-ups back into powered play, 
they will be there ready to equip and you can go in and use them to your advantage. So another reason beyond when you're charging your drone, it's great to play Danger Dome because it's virtual. But then it's also a great way to practice and earn power-ups to bring back once your uh, drone is charged. Cool, and then so let's, let's carry on. I'm interested to see all these different bits and pieces. This is the research center. So this is where you go, and you can see here, a very cool thing we haven't shown yet, is this is an alien technology. I've co um, collected these nine fragments. Once I drag this into here, it actually goes, okay, I've just, created, nice. just crafted the matter splatter. This is another gun to equip um, in-game and bring with you in-game to, to take to your advantage. So you would slowly unlock, as you collect these things, you slowly unlock those as you mm -hmm. play through? As you collect alien technology, that's right. And in terms of the sort of length of the game, what's that, do you have a feel for how long it would take to play through that maybe once? Obviously you can play levels multiple times, but just that getting through it. And to get to where I am now at rank uh, 15, it would take a very long time. If you're a hardcore player, it'd probably take you a week or, or longer. Yeah. Um, play sessions typically run um, 10 to 15 minutes, depending um, on how much time you spend in headquarters, based on how many times, you, uh, how much time you spend in um, powered play. Great. Okay, that's, that looks really good. Thanks for your time. Thank you.